everybody and welcome back to Resident Evil 2 Claire Side A. We're at the water pool, which is a fancy way of saying our asses in the damn sewers again. So the world of survival. You once again enter the world of survival horror horror. Uh good luck, that's what it said. That's what it said! I didn't I didn't get ready. I looked down at my timer. Instead of paying damn attention. But uh how's everybody else doing? Hope everybody else is doing well. I uh have been doing these recordings all kind of in one day in this block, so I finished Dave! It was funny. It's good stuff. Um, oh. Nope. Not today. Not right now. <laughs> B BRB! Uh, yeah, I know where this is gonna go. We do need that metal, but I don't have what I need to... Yeah, I need the grenade launcher. So we're gonna go grab that real quick, because we need it. So we're gonna hit up a box or something, because we need, we need the grenade launcher. Um, yeah, how's everybody else? How's everybody doing? I finished Dave. It was funny. Good stuff. Still reading the same book. Mm. Oh, jeez. I, uh, would've started this little... Dude, what the fuck? You know what's really upsetting about these big-ass spiders? I just, like, spent 20 minutes yelling at a big-ass spider in my, uh... That crawled underneath, like, the crack of the door frame. It was big. Big-ass spider. I was pretty upset about it. I cried. I threatened to call the police on it. But... I didn't. Ooh! Nasty bitch. Nasty bitch. Did y'all see that? That was bullshit. Bonafide certified. Bullshit. That was awful. Fucking throwing acid at me. I uh, gave all the spiders in my house a PSA that I'm trying to be nice to spiders because Sleepy asked me to, but if your ass gets too comfortable, I will kill you. And those are big facts. So you hear me, everybody in here? Big facts. Sorry, sometimes I feel like they get too comfortable. But yeah. I, uh... Alright, we're here. So we need to grab the grenade launcher. We need to grab the grenade launcher and I think we can drop off this ink ribbon anyways, so... This is what you call a twofer, folks. Uh, I'll keep that just in case one of those spiders gets froggy and jumps on me. But what I am not gonna do is carry around these acid rounds. I'm gonna carry these flame rounds. Mm, you know what? I'm also not gonna do that. Hold up. Now you might be saying, Ice Cat, why are you switching out the types of ammo? Well, that, my dear viewer, is simply because we have the, the potential to run those damn plant things later on, and they're really susceptible to fire. So I want to keep the basic rounds for this alligator thing right now, the acid rounds for things like liquors and any, like, big G adults, and then the, and the flame rounds for the damn plants that I can't stand. Plus, with the flame rounds, I think it fires like three shots at once, so you got that wide area of effect. That AOE, if you know what I'm talking about. My Dungeons and Dragons players, maybe. And, uh, it'd be fucking up them plants. I really hate those plants. I hate them so much. Y'all don't even know how much I can't stand them damn plants. They really be getting on my nerves. I wouldn't say as much as the spiders, but... I don't care for them. Wow, y'all are just gonna sit around here and really crawl on these ceilings. You, you all really be out here. Really be out here doing that ceiling crawling and shit. Disgusting. I do, I will say I like that TikTok where the kid's like, Ew, a spider! <laughs> and it cuts to the spider and it's like, Ew, an ugly ass depressed ass bitch! <laughs> She's like, wait, what? <laughs> the spider snaps on her. I felt that because I feel like that is something I probably would hear from a spider at some point in my life. If I was Dr. Doolittle. Holy crap, did I put the rocket launcher or the, the grenade launcher away? So I remember that time Ice Cat said Ice Cat can do some things brilliantly without thinking and there's times like this where I'm out just distracted and I just can't. And hold on a second, I not only don't have the grenade launcher but I'm holding on to the flame rounds. What the hell is wrong with me? I'm sorry, y'all. It's been a long couple days. I was up late as hell last night. It was not a fun time. Like, I didn't eat much. I don't know if we've gone over this, but in our absence, Ice Cat developed an eating disorder. It wasn't fun. It was, it was, I was, it was not it. I'll tell you that much. They do not, I hope they do not be doing that out in these streets. Anyway. That may not seem relevant, but when I'm low on calorie count, I get a little spacey. Uh, which probably means I should probably eat again, in all seriousness. 
I ate earlier with, uh... Sorry. I ate earlier with my mommy. We had a good time at, at uh, Longhorn. I have leftovers from Bahama Breeze that I really should eat. So I don't know why I didn't grab the grenade launcher. I think I was doing too much. I think when I put the uh, rounds away, I thought I was putting away the, uh, the grenade launcher away. I thought I was putting away the rounds away. But that was obviously the opposite. I don't have to eat. Probably some chips right now. Maybe later. Anyway, now that we're on to the actual task at hand, and let's actually equip it because we're going to need it. You know what? Wait a minute, because I don't want to accidentally fire on one of these damn spiders. They are not worthy of a grenade round. They can get a funky-ass bullet at best. Y'all can get this crusty 9mm round. That's right. I'm calling y'all out. You ain't even worth the effort it takes to load a grenade launcher. Ooh! Feisty! I don't like that in a spider. I like my spiders the same way I like my... <laughs> I like my spiders the same way I like my zombies. Dead. Well, I technically a zombie's undead, so... No! None of that. I probably could have made a better joke, but it would have been a little too... top of politically charged, so... As much as I'd love to keep that off of this show, it's probably gonna dip into that territory. Just because Ice Cat don't know when to stop with the jokes. Alright, so, uh... Okay, so here's the deal. This over here is important. It's a high-pressure gas cylinder. In case of an emergency, the red light will turn on and the gas cylinder may be removed. Alright, here's the pro stats, guys. It's like 12 a.m. 12, it's midnight. It's midnight. So I'm a little, a little tired, sorry. Sherry! She took a nap earlier. Oh, well. Oh shit! I didn't realize he swatted players' ass like that. I don't remember that. All right, here's the plan. We're just going right around this corner. She'll like. I just want to know how this substantiates an emergency. Like, how did that gas cylinder know that like the gator coming was an emergency? I'll never know. But hey, can you uh, bite down on that real quick? <laughs> that's satisfying, kids. Now that's that's real power. Okay, cool. So we got this. I think we need to actually release the lock. Yes. But what do they have? Like an anti-alligator sensor or something? Like how how did the system know that was an emergency? But I'm trying to figure out. Well, you know what? It probably was built in because we did just read that report on how they were doing all these experiments down here. Oh, hey, Sherry. You should get off this trash. We need to go. Girl, wake Mom, up. Wake up, Sherry. We got to go. Ew. What the squelching noises in this game, man? My stomach. It hurts. Yeah. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Damn, Claire. Let's go. She's like, buckle up, buttercup. It's too late. Yeah, let's see. Trash is dumped here. We're in the, we're in the damn sewer, Claire. But seriously, though. I'm like, Sherry, you need to wake your ass up. We gotta go. Buckle up. Um, the thing is, uh, well, I've technically got some space. So let's go up here real quick. Yes, we'll use the ladder. Sherry, shamble your ass up that step. You gotta go. See your daddy is a coming. Okay, I think we need the valve. Damn it. Okay, so what we're gonna do. I knew it. I knew we were gonna need the valve or something again. So I didn't put it in the box. So here's the plan. We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna drop this wolf medallion. M metal. Whatever. We're gonna drop the metal. We're gonna go back downstairs to where the um, typewriter is. And we're gonna use the valve to bring the platform up to the second level. Come back here, do a little snoopy snooping. I think we'll get the gold medal up there. And holy crap, Sherry, come on now, girl. We was all running at the same pace. What happened? Aren't you 12? You should have energy to keep up with Claire. Come on now. Then again, I don't know what you've been eating. And I guess your stomach probably should hurt from rolling around in the trash. Because we don't know what you picked up. 
I don't even really mean the, the embryo at this point. You don't know what you'd be getting when you run around in trash like that. Um, we're gonna drop the metal off first, so. I wanna forewarn you, Sherry. There's some big ass spiders out there. And they will poison you. I'm curious if she gets damaged, if it affects my health meter, because she doesn't have her own. I'm pretty sure she'll be fine, but I'm curious. So that's something to find out at a later date. Nope. Sherry, stay on that platform. Alright, Sherry, don't listen. Just do what you want, I guess. Uh, you absolutely need this right now. Great, now we need the gold eagle. Which sounds like a James Bond film. Does it not? Ooh! Damn! Well, that answers that question! <laughs> Guess she'll be alright! Oh man, that answers that question perfectly. I'm really sick of this house being Animal Kingdom, I'll tell you that much. Oh, was my old apartment, I didn't have to deal with the, this many spiders and stuff, so. Sorry, I'm just thinking about that because it's big ass spiders, but. Alright, cool. Well, get that second floor going. I don't feel like this platform is realistic at all. Like, there's other stuff that I could architecturally, you know, justify away for flavor. That platform shit, I just can't. I don't feel like that's a real thing and a real sewage treatment plan. And I'm probably right. And I'm probably asking too much as far as realism goes, but hey. That's actually probably why they didn't have a damn platform like that in Remake, did they? I mean, they had some platforms that, like, doors that opened and shut, if I, if I recall correctly. I don't remember, like, a whole ass platform deal. Oh, wait, no, there was a platform. Well, well, slap my ass and call me Sally, then. I guess they probably did. Oh, well. Okay, let's get here. Stairs, we're going across the platform. And I think that metal's like right up the way here. We just gotta, gotta run up here and grab it real quick. That'll be a piece of cake. Yep, sitting right by the dead guy. The maintenance of the corpse of a sewer maintenance worker. I wonder who came in here and killed him. Was it Brian Arns or Birkin or Annette? It's like a the Eagle Metal. We will absolutely take that. It's like a weird ass game of murder clue. Sewer manager diary. June 28th. It's been a while, but I, t I saw Don today, and we talked after completing our work. He told me he had been sick in bed until yesterday. It really doesn't come much as uh, of a surprise given how long he's been working here. He was sweating like a horse and kept scratching his body while we were talking. I asked if he was hot, but he just looked at me funny. <laughs> Sorry. What's wrong with him anyway? July 7th. Chief Irons has been visiting the lab quite often lately. I don't know what he's o doing over there, but he always looks grim. The expression on his face has been more than- more even- sorry, the expression on his face is even- has been even more unsettling than usual. My guess is that it's po because of Dr. Birkin's impossible request. The chief is my sympathies, though. After all, he's done for the town. He doesn't deserve this. Alright. July 21st. I rarely drink because I'm on the graveyard shift, but I don't suppose I have much to complain about since this is how I make my living. That's the whole entry? I'm just drinking on the job? Alright. August 16th. Chief Irons came in late today looking grimmer than his usual self. I tried to joke with him to cheer him up, but he wasn't amused. He pulled out his gun and threatened to shoot me. I was able to calm him down, but that guy must have some serious problems. He knows he can't enter the lab without my help and my medal. This is what it means for the chief to serve and protect. See, I knew that entry from there to now was going to be some bullshit with irons. August 21st. William informed me that the police and media have begun their investigation on Umbrella's affairs. He said that the investigation will be citywide and that there is a possibility they'll even search through the sewers. He asked me to suspend all Umbrella sewer facility operations until the investigation is concluded. The sewer will still be used for passage, but he stressed that I have to be extremely cautious and that I'd lose my job if anyone finds out about this operation. Damn. This doesn't seem like a very friendly work environment, but I guess any work environment with Chief Irons isn't. So I guess in a way, Leon dodged a bullet, right? Right? Nah, not really. Okay, so we're gonna turn off this big ass fan. Oh, we're not gonna turn off this big ass fan. That's probably for Ada or somebody to do. Well, her ass can have fun in them fucking fans, because we both know that there's big-ass roaches in there. Big-ass roaches, like... What the hell? 
I guess we just did see a giant alligator, so. I guess big ass roaches with a foreshadowing. But they were huge and flying. I think we established that this is happening in Illinois, right? Because it's something somebody something referenced Chicago earlier. Sherry, if you don't get your standing and waist deep sewer water ass over here. Seriously though, that's kind of like the one annoying thing about her running around is her ass just be standing there, just chilling. It's like we have places to be, kid. This is ass. This whole this whole place is ass. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna reach a cherry. Please, it's like she's showing out more because I'm recording. Like, I never have these problems usually. Like I never have her do that unless I turn a quarter too fast. But she's bound, bound and determined to just take a break. Like, jeez. Anyway, um, we'll keep the valve on us because, in all seriousness, I don't think we're gonna hit a box before we hit the valve location like see it's right here and then it's right outside the door where we have the uh where we have the door we're gonna go through hopefully there'll be a box right there so we can drop the uh drop the grenade launcher and drop the uh the valve and i kind of want to take that health with me yeah. we do already have a first aid though tell you what if there's a box we'll come back for it maybe it's not super pertinent. We're actually not doing too bad. I guess getting out of the police precinct with all those tight corners kind of helps out. So now all we have to do is get our happy asses through this door before these spiders come through. And if I'm not mistaken, there's about to be a bunch of zombies because we're about to drain this water. Oh no. No sir. No thank you. Not today. Claire, drop that metal. Drop the base. All right, cool. Let's go. Yep, that's what drains the water. Alright, let's go back here. Oh, let's go! Let's go! We gotta go, girl. We gotta go. It is. We gotta go. Alright, cool. So now we're down here. And we are gonna hit a box. I think we're about to hit a sub-boss fight. So, I actually should've picked up that health. Oh well. All's well that ends well, right? Something like that. Alright, kids. We're about to hit the lab. Sweet really be doing some things out here this is great now if i recall correctly if we do something with the lighter it lights up the key over here something of that nature i might be misremembering things oh here it is the control a control uh, a control panel for the sky tram please power it on oh yeah i'll turn the power on what kind of question is that we need this to get out of here don't we and my whole thing is like, when Claire's like, hey, follow us later, I found a way out. Like, she gave Leon no direction. She was just like, I found some place in the sewers, but didn't really, like, give him any type of direction. Like, none. Okay, then we'll be hitting a box over here. So we'll put the valve away, grab that lighter real quick. It'll be a piece of cake, because we need that key to operate the, uh... Ooh, sorry, I thought I saw a spider. In my arms. Uh, ooh. I see y'all got roaches down here. Oh shit. Back up! Hey fam. Back it up! I know you're not dead, man. Don't even play. Yep. And there's more health back there, actually. Alright. Calm it down there, Kojak. Stop. Go down. Go to sleep. Alright. I don't know if that's everybody, honestly. I don't really feel like that's everybody. Oh shit, bitch! It wasn't everybody! They're having a party back here! Sherry, quick, distract them with your youth! That's not a great sentence. Damn, dude. We should grab the health. Alright, well. Oh shit. Uh. Take the kid first! Damn, Sherry's smart. She's like, let me get behind Claire. And she's just looking at her like, do something. Is everybody done having fun back here? I'm certainly done. Oh shit, you're not done! He's not done! Get down! Damn, what the bullshit? See, I'll always be on that stuff. Alright, you're not slick. Oh wait, you're, you're down. Okay, do you have something on you? Yep. Hell yeah, I'll take the spark shot. Why, thank you! I most certainly will. 
come on, Cherry. We done got ourselves an upgrade because we're about to have a sub boss fight. They did not give us that to play around. And see, now I don't feel bad about leaving the uh, machine gun for Leon because we got that, so. <clears throat> it all kind of worked out. Alright, let's grab this box. Wait a minute. Come on now, for real? You're holding her hands? How cute. I guess you're holding her hip. Do they know we're around the corner? Because I'm not trying to go around this corner getting bit again. Yep, yeah, somebody's over there. Oh, but he's far away. Alright. Hey, can you, uh... Can you stop? Oh, shit. Why do you have friends? Why are there so many friends back here? Uh-uh, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Stop it. Lay down. I'm sick, y'all. Realizing there's strength in numbers. Like, for real. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. God damn, like... I know there was supposed to be some down here, but like... Jeez! Like the whole damn department was taken over. Okay, so this is what I pretty much thought was back here. Yes, I will take that herb. I will use that herb. I wish I'd grab the sewer herbs. But here we are. Alright. I am very highly armed right now. And I ain't playing no damn games! So, once we get to this box, we'll come back so we can get to the key so that we can get the hell up out of here. And I really wish I had the health, but we can't leave Sherry behind, and I honestly don't want to run with her punk ass anymore. Because, as y'all can see, she just wants to sit down and chill. Alright, cool. So, we're gonna pop this real quick. Oh, we got more flame rounds over there. Damn, they are really lo loading us up. That's not a good sign. Drop the valve. We don't need that anymore. I need the lighter. Long story short, I need that lighter. I'll keep the first aid on me. Or the green herb on me. And the first aid. But I will save the... Um... Shoot, what was I gonna say? You know, I'll, I'll, I'll put the bowgun away. And there's more flame rounds over here. Because I need the lighter right now. Damn, they're giving us all the rounds. Damn. Damn. But all right, well, I'll save the flame rounds then. That works perfectly. So I have two spots, for, and actually, there's a first aid over here that we're gonna grab. I am not comfortable with all this. So we're gonna throw that first aid spray in the box. Man, we got stuff to do, y'all. They are amping us up. They are gassing us up, and I feel like it's to run on E. Quite frank. Uh, put it down that ink pipe in. Throw this other first aid over here. Got the blue over here, because we don't really need it like that. Uh, and we kind of loaded up all the grenade rounds in there. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go back real quick. Yes. I'm gonna go back real quick with the lighter. Light up the thing. Get the key. Alright, cool. Let's just clear because that makes my life so much easier. There's no zombies we gotta deal with. Took care of those bastards. Now it's just gonna be grabbing that key. been washing their hands. I don't know about y'all, but I'm in one of the states uh, that's not doing so great as far as like COVID goes. So it's getting kind of like nerve-wracking over here. I feel really bad because like, especially if you're like a central worker that works in food, I'm just like, damn, that's... your like probability of coming in contact with that is so high. I feel so bad. It sucks. I want everybody to be safe and not get sick and not get other people sick. And what's crazy is they're talking about, like, kids in my age group, like, the average age is 33 who's infected now, and it's like, all those people that were like, oh, I don't really care because it's only affects old people are the ones who are technically, like, if you think about it, that's that age group. So now they're all infected, and it's not so much that's like, it's not even so much it is about you, but you should be worried about it because you don't know if it'll, like, <clears throat> mutate and then start killing you off, but, like, you're gonna pass it on to somebody who can get sick who's vulnerable. So that's my whole thing, is, like, can we not get other people that, like, I sick. Like, our medical system is stressed enough as it is in this country. We don't need to make it any worse. For real. And that's on... That's on just facts, I mean, honestly. Like, the healthcare system is stressed. Like, we don't need the excess, like, cases of people getting sick with this stuff. For real. 
If you want to argue about it, go to Twitter. I ain't about that life. Alright. So we're gonna use the key. Yeah, we're gonna use the key. Now, normally I'd say let's save, but I feel pretty confident that I will be okay in the sub boss fight. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna keep my save close so we get a good, good little record. Get a little whoops. My phone over with my heating pad. Good thing. Yes, I just got a heating pad because it's like 70 in the house, but like, my mom had a, uh, early kind of like menopause deal from a hysterectomy because she had like cancer. And, uh, like uterus, uterine cancer or whatever. And, uh, she keeps it really cold, you know, like 60s. Which is really cold. And, um, that's why I got a heating pad because it helps keep me warm. Nice cat does not do well in the cold. Now, heat, I can do all day, every day. That's really not a problem. Like, it is beyond not a problem. Dude, what am I, what am I, what are we doing this for? What is this for? Not shit, key umbrellas. Okay, I could have swore that was to get this thing going, but alright. Well, I guess let's go in here and not have the right key? I feel like I'm right, and this game is just throwing me for a loop again. Let's just go over here. Oh. This is the right key. Alright. And what's this key for? I hope this isn't like that key that goes all the way to the freaking back into the damn room with the, um, the bag. Uh, it probably does. It's probably all the way back there. That key goes to the something in there, like the box in there. Well, guess who's not going all the way back? This chick right here. Alright, cool. Yep. All systems go. Damn! Hey, Sherry, hurry up! Damn, Sherry. You gonna leave the kid behind! Alright, so this is probably a good place to end it because we're about to jump into a boss fight. You know what? Screw it. We're going a little longer. I feel Ice Cat's feeling better. So we're going to take out this boss, like a boss, we'll, uh, call it from here. This tram system, or whatever they got going for this train, is super high tech. It's the one part of the movie where I'm like, this is not super Claire, hyper realistic. Oh. My stomach. Yeah. My stomach hurts. Don't roll around trash. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh shit. Hang in there, Sherry. Oh, it's burning up. I've got to hurry before the embryos pupate. Quick, grab some ginger ale and some Vicks vapor rub. Should be alright. I'm not a real doctor, but I do feel like ginger ale and Vicks vapor rub will fix most most illnesses. Keeping your ass in bed with some some ginger ale and some Vicks vapor rub, and if it's that bad, and you're me. Take the non drowsy date pool. Dayquil be really doing something as far as I'm concerned. But if you don't got Dayquil. I, you know, I don't know if I ever told y'all about when I take Nyquil. It's a whole nother time, I'll tell you that much. And it's never a good time. It's always something terrible. Like, I never, ever... Shit. Hello? Hi! Oh, that doesn't... I looked at, I think it might be infected. Oh, that's definitely infections. I'm not a doctor, sir. You should, uh, oh, shit. You need to see a doctor. Oh, shit. Ooh, ooh. Damn. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 hey. Well, goddamn. He just. Alright, we need to. Hey, Claire, Claire, hey. Like, god damn! Whoa! Alright, that was completely uncalled for. Can we do something about this, Claire? Like, could you stop getting backhanded? Jeez! I'm gonna fight Ray Rice over here! Jeez! We are out of health items. Ice Cat got cocky. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright. Damn, sir, could you stop bodying Claire, please? That's GG. Oh, it's not GG yet. We need to run. I should have kept the acid rounds. Wait, are these flame rounds? Have I lost my ever loving mind? Oh, they're great. Still. Should have bought more health. We're about to die, guys. 
this is the end. Can we hit him with the, the, the one two punch or something? Oh, thank goodness. Woo! You know what? Hit him again just to be safe. Damn, that was too close for comfort. We need to hurry up. Like, can we go back inside now? That wasn't fun. Anyway, so you saw what that boss battle was? That's what Ice Cat is like on NyQuil. That is like the perfect personification of what happens when I get on NyQuil. <laughs> it's always some shit. And it's not like I'm taking it for fun or anything like that. It's like I'm sick and I'm taking the recommended dosage. It's basically that's Sherry. what it looks like. It's awful. I highly don't recommend it. Unless you're about to sleep for a long time. Aw, oh, poor kid. How, how are you walking normal all of a sudden? The power of motherhood is giving you temporary buff to HP. Hey Sherry, don't you got a first aid on you? Do you want to give up real quick? <clears throat> you don't really need it where you're going. <laughs> you need an answer, which is not a first aid. Claire? Oh, you're finally awake. Isn't this... That's okay. You keep it. I'm sure it'll keep you safe. Thank you, Claire. Even though I'm an only child, neither of my parents ever spent much time with me yeah, because of their work. I could believe that. I grew up alone. Yeah. But now that you're with me, I finally have someone to rely upon. Aww. <laughs> Sherry. Damn, that hair though. Rest here for a bit. I'll be right back. As soon as I found the antidote for you. And by right back, we mean it'll be a hot minute. So. Well, the good news is we do have some first aid and more flame rounds, which we're gonna need. And acid rounds! Man, this place is dope. We're getting all this ammo, they about to jack us up. We'll put the spark shot away. We actually didn't need it. Too, too. We didn't actually really need it like that. But we're gonna save because I think I've tempted fate quite enough for one night. Take those first aids out. Throw these rounds up in here. 24 flame rounds. Those plants will know Ice Cat. Like, they never know an Ice Cat before. We're just gonna throw this over here. I'm not gonna go back to the damn place to use it. But I am gonna use that first aid. There we go. This is how you do it. You know, I will admit, like, every, almost every other episode with this with you guys, it's always some, like, ride or die shit, like, towards the very end of these episodes. It's crazy. Um, alright, here we go. Take the ink ribbon, yes. And we'll also use this to save our progress. So, it has been fun. It has been a time. I always enjoy and appreciate you guys stopping by. Definitely leave a comment, like, and subscribe still kind of weird i know i thought i was used to it but i'm not quite used to it but like and subscribe tell your friends have a good time it's quarantine time and i'm positive we're probably going to be in shutdown numero dos in a very short amount of time S well soon i should say um so with that being said if things are going so great you feel like you need to reach out you can always shoot ice cat a message a comment anything like that i'm always happy to reach out and talk to you guys um if things aren't going so great, they absolutely will in the future. It's it's inevitable. Change is inevitable. And it, you hang on a little longer. Trust me. Things will definitely change dramatically or enough so that it's 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 a lot better whether you want it to be or not sooner than you actually realize it. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with a uh, bye.